The OG Fortnite map is back. Mario, Five Nights at Freddy's, and even Minecraft have made their way into Fortnite, all thanks to UEFN. We're looking at some of the best creations so far in Creative 2.0. We've got literal Mario Kart in Fortnite. If you guys have ever played the game, I'm sure you'll recognize this map instantly. They've got the music in there. They've got the visuals in there. And we've even got dirt bikes to race around on. It just shows you that any collaboration that you wanted Fortnite to do, anyone can literally do it now and bring it into their games. If you take away the Fortnite skin and the Fortnite heads up display, then this literally is Mario Kart. I see no difference. What about Minecraft? Like someone, wait, did I see Shrek? Dude, like it's every massive Fortnite clickbait ever actually coming to life and actually being real. This is mental. Like you'd think someone had taken Peely and put them in Minecraft, not the other way around, not taking the whole of Minecraft and putting it into Fortnite. Can you imagine if it actually like let you build like you're in Fortnite? Oh my gosh, like the possibilities. We're only a few days into these tools being released and these things are being made already. Shout out anyone that remembers the OG Flappy Bird. Yeah, you can literally play that in Fortnite just in case you never have it downloaded on your phone. If someone showed you this, you'd never even guess it was Fortnite. There's nothing on the screen that even gives it away. Like, I can't believe that this is possible. It's even counting his score. He's a lot better at Flappy Bird than I was, that's for sure. This is like max settings GTA in Fortnite. <laughs> I'm not even joking. The graphics are incredible because it's basically using Unreal Engine 5, which is Epic Games' latest engine. Like, all the biggest games in the world are being built on this engine. So all of those possibilities are now in Fortnite. That's why suddenly everything looks absolutely incredible. Plus the fact that you can import your own textures. Like, it's crazy. The incredibly talented designer, Denny, has actually taken one of his concept skins and brought it in-game as well. Like, this skin isn't in Fortnite, but he's managed to make it in Fortnite. And, and that's not all. Like, Five Nights at Freddy's can be imported as well. And it looks better than Five Nights at Freddy's itself. What? And I'm sure all of you guys have seen the recreation of the OG Fortnite map. The way you just fly in is better than it was back in the day. Quite a few people are trying to recreate the map. And there's memory issues and limiting factors that isn't making it quite as good as it was back in the day. But, I mean, the fact that I have my own Fortnite skin visiting the OG chapter one map just makes me so happy and these experiences will continue to get bigger and better and as epic games allow for maps to have more memory the possibilities become crazier and crazier leave a comment down below where would the first place be that you'd land if you revisited the og island here's where i'd go one of my very first fortnite videos ever told people to land up here to get all of your loot look at that i've even got an og assault rifle Man, this gets me so excited. Never did I think I'd see Shrek actually dancing and someone doing the gritty in Fortnite together. And just in case you didn't see the stream where they revealed these tools on the Unreal Engine stream, then look at look at what's possible. It's a freaking mech boss and cutscenes. Like, can you just see how different Fortnite is going to be in the future? This map, unfortunately, isn't playable, but I think it's one of the coolest maps that actually showed off on the stream. But hopefully Epic Games release it soon, because I'd love to play it. Damn, that robot is savage. This person has imported the Need for Speed BMW and even given guards weapons that they can't normally have, which... Oh, of course, and Shrek's in the background as well. How can you forget that? And they're, they're in Tilted Towers. What? Someone's even brought in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Lobby into the game. How are they doing this in, like, one day of it coming out? Oh, <gasps> Someone's brought back the Thanos item. Guys, even the OG Thanos LTM could potentially be made and brought back to the game. My brain's just ticking of ideas right now. And yes, this may not look amazing, but all of these experiences run on Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. PC. Currently, they can only be made in PC, but anyone can jump in and play them, which is so good. This person managed to spawn 303,000 medkits. How did your game not break, mate? This person tried to do this for 30 minutes and finally managed to put it off. Come on, mate. Show us what you got. Straight into the rift. Oh, mate, you always see these clips on TikTok. To be fair, if it takes you a long time to pull off, then respect. Is it going to go straight to the hoop? Oh, that was 
clean. Seen a lot of people sharing this around. Oh my gosh, this game has the Witcher. I gotta have him. Unfortunately, he was in the previous battle pass, but I'm willing to give you money. No, he was in the previous battle pass. It's just how it works, guys. If you miss out, you weren't around at the beginning, you can't get the skin. Anybody else irritated by his glider? Shouldn't they have it animated with you driving it? Yeah, that would be sick. But I guess standing gliders all use the same animation, so they have, they'd have to do new animations showing you actually, like, driving the bike. That would be cool, though. Watching old Fortnite content be like, why won't you sprint? All oh, right, yeah, dude, honestly... Going back to Fortnite without sprinting or sliding, I don't like it at all. It's crazy to think that that wasn't always in the game, and it really makes you appreciate how much Fortnite has come on with just those little changes. Such fun gameplay. Oh, mate, what you got? Absolute late. One of my favorite parts of the new island, and I know it spawns in really late, but... Whoa! Mate, that Havoc shotgun is savage. Oh my gosh. And they were hiding there as a dark skin. You're never going to see them. Wait. In fact, in this freeze frame, you can barely see his arms and legs. That is OP. Thinking of playing the chapter on map again? Actually playing the chapter on map again. It's going to be interesting to try the OG map with no builds. I'm also not sure if we had so many experiences and so many great memories of the old map that going back to it now and with everyone being so much better, if it kind of ruined things a little a bit we'll have to see anyone else notice there's a literal volcano by the big city it may be a dormant volcano but it's still a volcano yeah i saw people talking about this it's like the big mountain just to the right hand side of mega city and there's also hot springs that blast you up in the air and let you move around the map if there's hot springs that means there must be something hot under there still just saying a volcano eruption from this that destroys that city would be a really cool in-game event fortnite backflips on dirt bike this is brilliant but i like this i like the new bike a lot of people saying they prefer the old one the other issue is all the new vehicles only spawn in the bottom right hand corner of the map and the rest of the map then doesn't have many moving vehicles i think they should bring the old bike back for the rest of the map hit the like button if you want that to happen guys panic stations what is wrong with this picture i'll give you a few seconds to try and work it out you may notice there's no support a creator button in the corner with the release of ufn they're changing how they're paying out creators that build in Fortnite, rather than having to use a code from the map you're playing on, they're going to pay people out based on engagement, which should give people that are developing awesome Fortnite maps a lot more money for the hard work they put in developing them. But Fortnite messed up and removed this button, so if you want to support someone like me, where you have to manually enter code Alley A, you can't do it. But luckily, if we now go over to the item shop, it is back, and as always, the best way to support me is to pop this code in. It only lasts for two weeks, and now that codes aren't wiped out by jumping into creative creative maps and entering their code by accident. Entering my code is even more useful than ever. So shout out to everyone that does it. You guys are genuinely the best. I love whenever this happens. Whenever what happens? The gliding in, new skin, new glider looking hot. Incredible weapon loadout. Probably one of the best weapon loadouts ever, actually. Even the exotic P90. 21 kills already. What? Oh my. Mate. Mate. What? They got beamed. Shout out to Sharktooth, who I believe has actually had a few skins in Fortnite now, has taken the classic Game Boy color and Game Boys to make these awesome concept skins where they've got like the buttons, Night Boy, and designs just like the classic handheld consoles. Even cartridges as backblings. I need this skin in Fortnite. Does this mean I missed the bus? Bro, what the heck? You're running. Oh, you're not actually going anywhere. You're stuck in the sky. If you were more central and the storm was coming in, you could actually get a good placement here. But yeah, you're not going to last long with the storm in the sky. I don't know how this glitched happened. Fortnite and Pokemon, dude. It is the one collaboration I would pay Epic Games and Pokemon to put in. I love Pokemon. I love Fortnite. Pikachu skins, Pokemon capturable. I mean, anything is possible in the UEFN and Creative 2.0. Maybe we'll see it. It is my one true dream. Guys, the future of Fortnite is bright. And if you want to see me talk to the CEO of Epic games and asking him questions click on screen here because i'm about to disappear so quickly click i'll see you over there